Look at this fish. Get my hand down beside him so you can see. That's that's 20 centimeters. Yeah, he's just gone, he's just under the 60. What a brute. It is a beautiful time of afternoon and the wind's just started to drop. It's been blowing hard, raining for days. And that's why I've come down this afternoon. Oh look, livey bucket, cast net, cheat. Yeah, come down this afternoon just to try and have a go for a mangrove jack. I thought it was gonna be super dirty because of all the runoff we've had and there's heaps of sticks and that around on the, uh, on the bank, like heaps of debris. But um, it's not too bad, I'm fishing Corumban um, this week and I'm fishing tally tonight just to give it a bit of a go. I like to fish those smaller systems when we've had heaps of runoff because they tend to clean up a bit better. And it's been full moons the last couple of nights, uh, big tides, so hopefully it's right at the bottom now. Like, look at this, this is tally. And you can just stand out in the middle here. Once she turns and starts to run in, I'm gonna start fishing liveies. Hopefully get a mangrove jack. So there's plenty of spots through here, everywhere really. Big deep bends, some bridges and stuff, so I'm gonna give it a go. Hopefully I can get some liveys first. We've got the light tonight, so hopefully I can capture the hookup, turn the light on, show you the jacks, and uh, maybe teach you a couple of things if you're just wanting to get into your livey fishing, or um, yeah, whatever, we'll see what happens. Let's get into it. You see the little back ends where the ripples are? That's me chasing my potties, and um, there's some little sort of drop-off zones here, like little bays in here where it just sort of drops down. And the little silver biddies, they are brilliant for liveys. Uh, they look a little bit like brim, if you don't know what I'm talking about, or tarwan. And um, they've just got like a little beaky nose on them. And they are fabulous, because when you get them on a hook and throw them in there, they just go crazy. And you feel their little, little beating tails going rank. Perfect livey for a mangrove jack and flathead or dewy, whatever. Little biddies often get thrown out with the brim like they're, um, they're not the right thing, but they're, they're money. I kind of want to show you how I throw the net. It's not the best way, definitely not the most efficient, but it gets the job done. I've got a few, but um, just a little bit hard because I didn't bring my chest mount tonight. So I'll just set the camera up on the sand and throw a couple and hopefully get some more. But uh, the main feel is just the, the late afternoon, sun setting and um, even though it's livey fishing, it's heart and mouth stuff, just broken up with really peaceful moments of kicking back, which is a lot different to my little fishing, where I'm like power fishing, skipping casts in 150, 200 casts a session. So we've got a 10 foot net. So I had it with my kids this week, we had a fishing comp at school. And uh, handed the net around, it's come back full of leaves and debris. Just because corumbin has been so dirty, they were all having a go. It's started to clean up now a little bit, but um, yeah, I really just try and gather a few bits of it because she's so big. Especially when I grew up with a six foot one. And then... Fan around. Got a couple of nice silver biddies, a couple of really big whiting, which I don't, I'm not afraid at all of using the whiting. And the rest is just gum leaves. <laughs> I've probably got enough to be honest, and I don't like to take too many, it just makes it worse in the live world to try and keep them alive, even though I feed, feed water now and then you can lose them if you get 20, 25 good liveys. 
I probably only need eight. Thanks, mate. Awesome. Just dump them in there. That okay. one's big enough to eat, mate. Yeah, he is, eh? Beautiful. Awesome. Watch your Instagram page if I get one on it. Ink fishing. Oh, that's on our ink fishing? Yeah. 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 Cheers. Right, yeah, John. Mate. Yeah, it's nice yeah. to meet you, mate. Good to meet you. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I think I, I think I actually follow you, actually. Yeah. yeah. And I've seen a few cars getting around with ink fishing on the back. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah, that's me Signs and the crew. Yeah, there's a, a few of us. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So I've got a nice tinny up there, too. I just live over here now. I used to live up around Runaway Bay. Yeah, um, do a heap of fishing up around there. Yeah, Good right. Jack fishing up there. Yeah, it is. I miss it a bit. Yeah. It's sort of, you got a lot more to sort of choose from here. You got a yeah. few sort of places, but yeah, it's endless up there, isn't it? Oh, it's a little bitty there. Right, uh, that I um, sustain I usually come that. down a bit later on in the night too. Yeah, yeah. That's so good up down here. Let me show you what I'm running. It's uh, just one of my basic little two and a half thousand size Shimano X Age reels, and I've got it on a seven foot trophy hunter. This is what I use for throwing my plastics for mangrove jack around pontoons because it's running um, straight through 20 pound fluorocarbon. So um, that's what I like to use when I go live baiting, mainly because that fluorocarbon right through is a little bit of insurance just when I'm throwing in and around heavy cover so that I don't get rubbed off if I get a big run and tonight I'm using these mustard demons hopefully you can I'll see if you can pick that up and 70 might be a little bit big you can go a little bit smaller depending on the size of the bait but I've got some I've got some nice big whiting and um, I've got a couple of silver biddies so I'll just see how I go with those but the way that I tend to just hook them up is uh, just like a simple blood knot really or a uni knot, an improved blood knot doesn't really matter really what's it, whatever's quick is what I do when I'm on the water to be honest so I'll just run it like that real simple little knot hopefully you can pick a bit of that up and then just cinch her down and the most important piece of the puzzle is just a smooth drag at a heavy setting because they're going to get back into the cover so that's how I like to run it hopefully you can see that I'll just cut that tag and then um, we'll get into it I just want to show you so you can get an idea of the size of these whiting that I'm using like they, they've got to be legal, so they are way up there, guys. And you don't want to do the wrong thing, but um, these really big jacks, they've got no problem taking down one of these beastie whiting. Like that thing is raring to go. No bait too big, baby. <laughs> yep. Come on, come on. Come on. Quick, quick, quick. Get that going. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Too. Oh, it's a beast. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, no. It's literally like you just toss it in, it drops down right against these resident structures. Mate, this is nuts, eh? So much fun. Let's have a look at what it's done to me, Livey. 
You're still kicking, eh? Literally just touched it in the in the wrong position and it's off mate. It is off and away. It's got it. It's just swimming off with it. Crazy. Like it's it's got it in its mouth, but I don't know if it's had a, a good enough chance to head first it. They want to move it into the into their mouth head first. It's been such a subtle take this time around. Pretty sure it's... Oh, he might... I don't know what he's done with that. Oh, it's nuts. Crazy, eh? Maybe he's lost it. Maybe he's lost it. I'll turn the light off and I'll be back in a sec. Just wait and see what happens. I just lifted it off the ground off the bottom and then boom. Yeah, okay, something's got it, something's running. Look at the line coming off, look at it. It's just stopped, I think it's trying to get it in its mouth. Definitely a fish on there. It's dropped it. It's still playing with it, I can feel it all happening down there. This is nuts. Have I got it? Yeah, right, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm feeding. Feed, 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 feed. Oh, this is crazy. Yep. Oh, this is a good fish. It took about a 25 centimetre whiting. Oh. It's a big fish here. Grab my big whiting, eh? Come up here, buddy. Come up here. Wait till you get a look at the size of whatever this is. It's gonna be a big fish. Oh, this too. Beautiful, beautiful big mangrove jack. It's a brute. Massive jack, eh? Oh, man. Oh, it's well up over that 500 mark. <laughs> oh, Jesus. What a fish. Until you get a look at the size of this fish, dude. Oh my god. He's close to that 600, eh? Have a look at this beauty. Look at that. What a belter. <laughs> what a beauty, eh? Great big jack in this dirty as water. It's really dirty stuff after this runoff. But uh, yeah, testing the liveys out and um, learning a lot, having a lot of fun. I'm going to get this fish back in the water and uh, keep trying a few things out. Beautiful stuff. There's some big fish on the Gold Coast this time of year. <sighs> Mate, he's going to be, he'd be up around that high, high 50s, eh? 100%. Mate, that is 55 centimetres of beast. Look at this thing. What a belter. He's angry, I've just got to chuck him back in, guys. But I just want to show you so bad because they're such a beautiful, tough fish to get. 
What a treat, hey? There you go, big fella. Just spearing them in gives them that oxygen flush like it happens with the pelagics. When they spear them in out offshore, just gets them going again so you don't have to swim them. It'll, you know, those really big ones have got beautiful big canine sets of teeth and um, you don't want to ruin it with grips just sitting it in there getting it going crazy. So, <sighs> Mate, this is just unreal. And I mean, live baiting makes it a lot easier, a lot easier than chasing them on lures. And um, I've been a little bit reluctant, if I'm really honest, about sharing how I do it um, to get some of these big jacks because it's a lot easier than, than getting them on lures. But a bit of catch and release stuff and maybe taking one for the table if you really have to. Um, it's okay. In my opinion, it's okay to take one for the table now and then, but um, just to enjoy these big, big fish, especially if the fishing's really hard going, chasing them on liveies can be a heap of fun and a good way to get people into it that are just getting a start. So I'll just take you through the, the uh, setup that I had. I had a big whiting, like 20, it was probably at 24, 25 centimetre whiting. You've got to get legal whiting. The small ones, you have to be, um, you have to chuck them back. But big mullet, big whiting. Um, I've got some silver bitties, some, some smaller fish like this. Just that mustard demon up through the mouth. And you might've seen there, I was just letting it run with it. It dropped it, it came back and uh, I gave it the time to get it right down. Like they'll hit it with a headshot usually and that's why I got the, the hook up the front. Um, if you want some more insurance, you can run a treble on the back, but that did the trick. Nice and simple, that little rig just with a demon unweighted, the whiting swim to the bottom, they're perfect. Heaps of fun, let's keep going. Okay, I'm chasing this thing, this thing has got plenty of line and I don't have much left on my spool so I'm gonna load up and hope it doesn't take too much because this thing is oh I've dropped it <sighs> just dropped the fish no that was a big fish you're just taking that much line off me what's he doing with it man a big mangrove jack. Maybe I'll bring I'll bring the live in and I'll keep <laughs> look at what's left of it. Mate, there's weight there, so there's still a fish on there. But I reckon he's had it in his throat. What? What? Oh my god, he's he's grabbed it again. He's grabbed it again. I'm on again. Oh he's just oh, I've just dropped it again. He's on again. He's on again. Mate, he is just playing with me. This is crazy. Am I on? Loading up. Yep, I'm on. Oh, I've dropped it again. I've just got to get, let him grab it and go. What is going on? This is crazy. Yep, he's just grabbed it again, mate. Watch this, look at this. Look at him. That is all him. What are you doing, Jack? Just throat it. Just get it down in that gob of yours, you massive fish. My legs are shaking, eh? Oh, he's got it. He's, <laughs> he's just, I wish you could see the tip of the rod. I'm just going to wind into it, eh? Oh, dropped it again, mate. What is going on? He's, he doesn't care. This is stupid. It's a big fish. There's heaps of weight in it when it grabs it. And he's just playing with me. Like he doesn't even care. Oh my God. Yep, he's there. Yep, he's grab. He's gone. Grab it and run, man. He's literally toying with it. Like I was, I was lifting it up loading up out of his mouth he'd drop it and then come back and get it and then he'd sit on it or leave it and I'll just lift to check if the bait's there and sure enough he'd come back and grab it again as soon as I lifted it my bait's still swimming eh crazy that is a massive jack whatever that is come on
Come on, buddy. Wish you could see the tip of my rod, eh? Just to see the load up on this thing. This is a, uh, like a big JML trophy hunter. <laughs> and I'm laying into it, mate. I'm proper giving it to it. I've got my line back. He was not concerned at all with anything that I was doing. <laughs> Look at that. Like completely scaled. Better job than I could do. Oh, this is crazy. Look at the punches in there. He's still kicking, mate. I'm going back over. Right in against this heavy cover. See you in a second. These are the size of the liveys that I'm using. Just so you can see, you gotta get legal whiting. And the really big ones, the Monster Jacks love them. So you can't go too big. Big mullet, big whiting, big gar and pike, whatever you can get. They love the big baits. Alright, well I reckon this is the luckiest livey in town. Because I'm thinking more about a Macca's meal than I am uh, trying to get this thing back into the right spots. But hopefully you've enjoyed this video tonight. Um, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, then make sure you do. A couple of tips with your live baiting. Make sure you've got a big smooth drag and you're ready to roll. These uh, circle hooks are fantastic for um, getting the hook set and then being able to fight the jacks, especially if you have to free spool around heavy cover. And uh, when you can, and I've been working on this for a while now, you've got to be able to try and let the jacks take it so they can get it head down. Sometimes they'll grab it through the body and they'll run with it and drop it and then come back again like they did tonight. So giving them that chance to get it head first so you get a better hook set is a really good way to go. And uh, if you can focus on those tide changes, tide changes for me have been really, really good in that first hour of darkness after the sun goes down. All right, well, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. I love my mangrove jackfish, and there's plenty more coming this season. Even though we've been really smashed with this rain, I'm going to make sure I get a bit more in before it's all over. I'll see you in the next video.